Are you tired of working day and night just to camera track a scene in Blender? Are you constantly dealing with bad tracks and trying to find better alternatives? Do you wish that Blender's tracking was simple as it is in for example After Effects where you can press a button to track and solve a whole scene? Then you have come to the right place. Introducing Flax Tracks, a fully automated camera tracker where you only need to press one button to track a complex scene and you even have the control over how low the solver needs to be. Just import your image sequence and enter the name. Adjust the settings based to your preferences and you're good to go. Or you can just use the recommended settings. Now you're probably curious how it works and how to use it, so let me show you. So the first thing you can do is just uh, download some free footage. You can use your own footage, but uh, I will just use this one as an example. After it has been downloaded, you can head into uh, Blender and uh, when you have opened Blender, make sure that you're in Blender 3.6 in your preferences. Make sure that you have turned on the Flex Tracks add-on. Now you can go into the video editing section and click on Add Movie and then you can find your newly downloaded footage. So here you can see my footage. So the first thing you gotta do is make sure that you're in um, the right view transform. You should be in the standard view transform so it doesn't change your colors. And before you import your footage, make sure that you have the correct resolution. I would recommend to use 1080p to make it faster, but still keep most of the quality. Just create a folder, go in here and set both the render and the viewport sample to one. After you're done that, just press Control F12. The frame rate will not matter, so you can just put it at whatever you want. I will just put it at 30. So then you can press F12 and be sure that you have uh, as much footage as you want to be covered. I have just chosen 250 frames, but you can choose whatever you want. And then when you're ready, just press F12. And here you can see all the frames are getting exported as separate image sequences. So now we just wait till it is finished. After it is done, you can head into the splash screen and create a new scene. Then you can go into the motion tracking tab. And before you input your footage, make sure that you're in the standard view transform. And if you have installed and um, Enable the flex tracks add-on. You should see it at the left corner as you see here on the screen But now you can open your footage and sort it by name You just press all by a and then open the clip now you will see the full clip in Blender you can also prefetch it if you want now the full footage is loaded into the RAM and To start uh, tracking the footage the only thing you gotta do is paste this and paste it in, in the name sequence and then you gotta put your solver target as you want I will just put it at uh, 0.5 and that means that the um, highest solve error it can put out is a maximum of 0 0.5 pixels but you can choose whatever you want and then uh, you um, enter the name of your sequence as you can see here and then you can just press recommended settings if you do not if you're not sure you should put here if you know your focal length it is always best to enter that but um, in my case i do not know the exact focal length that this was shot in so i will just press the recommended settings this will change the pattern size search size and focal length and also enable the auto focal length this is a feature that allows the add-on to find um the correct focal length between around 50 millimeters to 105 millimeters of focal length i also recommend you to use uh, millimeters instead of pixels here in the units and um, that for the focal length but now when i'm ready i just press to start auto tracking So now it's finished, 
uh, it took around uh, 7 minutes and 14 seconds and uh, you can see that the solve error is uh, under the maximum target solve error that we entered earlier and you can see a perfect track to use the track you can uh, both disable the footage if you want a clear view or you can just turn off the pattern to get a clear view of uh, the scene so the first thing you gotta do is uh, turn on the setup tracking scene that's you just gotta click on the setup tracking scene then you have to select three markers that w uh, will represent the ground I would recommend choosing three that are uh, reasonably close to each other to create a flat floor just hit the floor button you can also select one tracker in the middle to set that as the origin you can also select two of the trackers and change the scale now you can go into the layout mode and go into the camera to see how it well it tracked and as you can see there is some slipping and to change this you just gotta change your floor that's because the footage is so bumpy in this shot I will choose three different trackers um, I set those as the floor I'll choose this one, this one and this one set the floor set that one as the origin and then set that one as the x-axis and there you can see nearly all the slippage is gone thanks for watching and um, if you have any further questions please uh, ask them in the comments and I will try to read them all and uh, answer as many as I can.